Before we cross to some breaking news that's coming in from Nepal, the Supreme Court has decided to reinstate the country's House of Representatives, dealing a major blow to caretaker Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli's government. The parliament will be reinstated in 13 days. All decisions now taken by the caretaker government after the 20th of December stand cancelled. December 20th was the day on which Nepal's parliament was dissolved by Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli. We are now getting reports that the area around the Supreme Court is on high alert. The last year, late last year, the Prime Minister had dissolved the parliament to stave off a past struggle in which rival factions were demanding his resignation. Many legal experts and opposition politicians had questioned the legality of Oli's move. And for more details, let's quickly go across to our principal diplomatic correspondent, Siddhant Sibbal, who's joining us live at this hour. Siddhant, what happens now and what does the Supreme Court decision mean for KP Sharma Oli's government? Well, Akanke, it's a big setback for KP Sharma Oli government. Uh, we know that he had dissolved uh, the House of Representatives in uh, December of 2020. And of course, uh, uh, the, there was the announcement of elections. In fact, uh, Nepal was gearing up uh, for the elections very soon uh, in, uh, in, in the month of uh, Ma April and, of course, uh, uh, March. But largely, if you look at uh, uh, the situation now, it is something that is kind of a red card for the uh, Nepali political class, given the fact that all the parties had concerns that the next uh, course of action will be an election, but that is not going to happen. Uh, now, of course, the Supreme Court has given its verdict and they have to follow it. There is no kind of appeal to it uh, and uh, there will be a reinstatement. And if there is a reinstatement of uh, the, 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 uh, the uh, House of Representatives, that means that there can be a no confidence motion against uh, the the prime minister kp sharma oli and this is a kind of a positive news for prachanda who is of course the other faction of uh, the nepal communist party the party which is now divided uh, but it is not not divided on papers given the fact that the election commission has not announced that the, uh, the there is a split between the party but that is uh, in terms of working both the faction the kp sharmoli faction and the prachanda faction are working uh, in different ways uh, in their own uh, with their own close uh, uh, allies but largely uh, the party is not split so that verdict is also weighted but also uh, we know that largely uh, it looks like a major major political development in Nepal we can expect reactions coming from inside Nepal very soon we know the number of developments have happened which have uh, been noted by both Beijing and New Delhi and whatever happens in Nepal uh, is something that is uh, keenly noted here in New Delhi we know that since the dissolution of the House of Representatives and till today, there has been a high level visit by the Nepali Foreign Minister to India. He had visited India in the month of January and that was the first uh, foreign minister's visit to New Delhi in this year. So that visit saw the big focus being on uh, the COVID crisis. India, of course, then sent COVID vaccines to Nepal as well. But if you look at the larger South Asian region, perhaps this is the second big development in the region right. after the coup in Myanmar because we know the coup in Myanmar has been not only a regional concern but global and now Nepal is another major development in India's neighborhood. Absolutely and it seems that an official split is going to be of course something that they cannot avert now. Thank you so much Siddhan for bringing us all those inputs.